The Kenai River watershed is a rich and diverse ecosystem located in South Central Alaska. In this tour of the watershed, we consider how it has changed since the 1950s and how these changes are affecting the salmon that so many residents depend on. Alaska has warmed at more than twice the rate of lower latitudes over the last 60 years, and rapid warming is projected to continue through the end of this century. We start our tour at Upper Russian Lake, from which flows the Russian River, a montane tributary of the Kenai River. This river and lake ecosystem provides excellent spawning and rearing habitat for sockeye salmon, which in turn support world-famous sport fishing along the Russian River. From these upper tributaries and highland glaciers of the Harding and Sargent ice fields, we follow the Kenai River west through Skelak Lake and across the Kenai Peninsula, where it flows into Cook Inlet near the cities of Soldatna and Kenai. This lowland main stem portion of the watershed has witnessed considerable human activity. We use a series of high resolution imagery to show how the area has developed since the 1950s, through the 1980s, and in 2013. In each overlay, we highlight human developed areas in shades of red. Note that the 1980s imagery uses a false color composition that shows vegetation as purple. Over this time period, the developed area increased more than 20 fold from three and a half square kilometers in the 1950s to 76 square kilometers in 2013. This development was highly concentrated in the lower Kenai River riparian zone, habitat required for spawning salmon. We finish our tour by flying back upstream, much as a spawning salmon would, and visit the Skelak Glacier. The Kenai River is heavily influenced by glacial melt, with peak flows typically occurring in July and August, and minimum flows from December through March. Such glacially influenced rivers exhibit greater midsummer stream flow, lower water temperatures, more nutrients, and elevated sediment loads relative to non-glacial rivers. In this series of historical high-resolution images, we show the retreat of Skelak Glacier, a major source of glacial runoff to the Kenai River. Colored lines indicate the ice extent for 1952 in red, 1978 in yellow, and 2013 in blue. Notice that the toe of Skelak Glacier retreated only slightly from 1952 to 1978, but then retreated rapidly over a distance of four kilometers from 1978 to 2013, creating a new proglacial lake. As glaciers lose mass, changes in the timing and quantity of meltwater inputs can reduce the production and diversity of the microorganisms that sockeye salmon rely on. Though there is always uncertainty in predicting the future, Human decisions, both locally and globally, will determine the extent to which salmon and other species are affected by these environmental changes.